students i'll be dealing with economic botany which comes in semester 3 paper 1 unit 3 economic botany by and large deals with all those plants food adjuncts cereals and fruits which have some economic importance to deal with that i start with the first one the first topic which is given in your book in the syllabus there are various topics given i'll be starting with oils and fats now starting with the oils and fats let us know what oils are oils are the esters of triglyceride some of the important properties that you would like to know what oil carries oils are liquid at room temperature they are less saturated have a lower melting point they are less stable contain oleic acid and they are also known as mix oils because they do not evaporate now how do we extract these oils from the various seeds the seed coats are removed and the material is being converted into a fine meal oils may be removed by solvent or by hydraulic pressure this pressure method is commonly used for extracting the edible oils the pressure causes the cell walls to break and the oils escape oils are further filtered and purified now regarding the oils there are three categories of oils the first is drying and semi drying oils second are the non drying oils and the third is the vegetable fats some of the plants which contain the oils that come in the category of drying and semi drying oils many of these are ones which we use for our day to day cooking purposes the first one is linum usitacimum which is known as the linseed then we have our very popular helianthus annus that is the sunflower brassica campestris yellow mustard which is popularly called as sarson ka tel then we have jugulans regia obtained from walnut papaver somniferum that is botanical name opium papi then we have catharanthus tinctoria commonly called as kusum glycine max soya bean and zea maize which is the indian corn now some of the non drying oils also include ricinus communis castor oil arachis hypogea that is our groundnut now start along with the oils we have some vegetable fats these vegetable fats are cocos nucifera commonly known as the coconut elias guinensis that is the oil palm madhuka indica mahua and nutmeg butter the drying and semi drying oils the first one is the linseed oil botanical name linum usitacimum the vernacular name alsi family lineaceae now part from which it is used is the dried ripened seeds the active principle is that the oil contains oleic acid linoleic acid and linoleic acid in its various parameters now what are the characteristics if we talk about the semi drying oils what are the characteristics there's a picture along with it where you can see the flowers of alsi and the plant fresh refined oil is pale yellow in color with odor and a pleasant taste they are also known as the flax oil the oil keeps well stored in non metallic containers unexposed to air and light hot processing oil is turbid and yellowish brown commercial oil is usually dark in color with a disagreeable odor and an acetic acid now what is the economic importance of this linseed oil in india this oil mainly consumed in madhya pradesh and in part of orissa bihar uttar pradesh and punjab raw cold pressed oil is used for edible purposes the linseed oil is primarily used in the manufacture of paints and varnishes it is used in the manufacture of it is used in the manufacture of linoleum and oil cloth printing and lithographic inks and soft soap it is used as a solvent for the industrial stains and for seasonings the jute textiles and cricket bats linseed oil is officially in some pharmacopoeias and is recommended mainly for external applications 
In veterinary practice, linseed oil is employed as a laxative for horses and cattle. Now coming to our very famous, the sunflower oil, botanical name, Helianthus anus, well, vernacular name, Suraj Mukhi, family composite or Asteraceae, now it is called, part which is used is seed. Active principle, linoleic acid, oleic acid and palmitic acid. Sunflower is an important oil yielding crop in temperate countries such as Russia, Romania, Canada and USA. In India, this crop is cultivated in Karnataka, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh. What are the characters? Sunflower seed contains 40 to 50 percent of oil. It is non-volatile. It's of high quality, edible and has non-cholesterol and anti-cholesterol properties. Its economic importance being sunflower oil is a very good cooking medium. The seeds are mainly used for extraction of oil. They are also consumed raw, roasted or salted. It can be used by heart patients. It does not raise the cholesterol level in the blood. Sunflower oil contains proteins, vitamins A, D and E. The oil is easily digested. Oil is used in making paint, varnish and so. Seeds may contain a nutritious food for cattle, poultry and cage birds. Now coming to the next oil, that is the gingerly oil or the sesame oil. Botanical name, sesamum indicum. Vernacular name, till, family, PDLAC and again the part used is seed. The active principle that the seed contains, that the oil has lignans such as sesamin and sesomolene. It is a herb grown in Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh and Maharashtra. Some of the characteristic features that the seed contains, 50% of the oil which is extracted by cod pressure. The character, economic importance, the oil is edible, used for cooking purposes, also used in the manufacture of soap, cosmetics and hair oils. The oil is used as an ingredient for confectionery and in the manufacture of perfumes, insecticides and the pharmaceutical products. The oil is also used for applying on the body and as a fuel for lamp. Coming to our very common sarso oil, botanical name Brassica compestris, vernacular name sarso, family cruciferi, nowadays the latest name is family brassicaceae, part which is used is seed. The active principle, the oil contains allyl isothiocyanate, alpha linoleic and uracic acid. Oil has a very pungent smell. Now some of the characteristics, it's a herb grown in UP, Bihar and Assam. The oil content is 30 to 45 percent and is extracted by expression or by solvent. Coming to its economic importance, the oil is edible, used for cooking and burning purpose. It acts as an antibacterial when used both externally and internally. Internally it fights with the bacterial infections in colon, in the intestine and other parts of the digestive tract. Externally, it fights both bacterial and fungal infection of the skin. Now coming to another important oil, that is the poppy oil, botanical name Papava somniferum, vernacular name Afim, Yaposta, Papava Resi, part uses seed. Now the active principle is very important in this because it is morphine, which is taken as drugs also, it is taken in the form of injection also to relieve pain but it causes addiction as well. It is the main active ingredient of opium and has strong analgesic and addictive property. Like if you are addicted to morphine, then without its injection you will not be able to survive. It is something very dangerous. It is a herb. It is native of West Asia, grown in UP as well as in certain parts of Punjab. The oil is odorless and possesses a very pleasant almond-like taste. It is free from narcotic properties. Now the economic importance, the first cold pressing yields a white edible oil, while a second one comes to a reddish oil used for burning, used for soaps as well as paints. The oil is widely used for cooking purposes or you can say culinary purposes. The oil is used mixed with olive oil or as a salad oil. Next we come to the 
soya bean oil or glycine max vernacular name is bhat family papilionaceae seed again is used when we are talking about oils and fats it's basically the seed from which the oil is extracted the active principle the principal fatty acid in soya bean oil i linoleic acid and palmic acid it's a herb grown in southeast asia in india it's mainly cultivated in punjab bengal khasi hills assam and manipur economic importance of the soya bean oil this oil is used for cooking manufacture of candles varnish soap paints grease linoleum rubber substitutes cleaning compounds insecticides and disinfectants it's also used in making adhesive plastics spreaders foaming solutions and many other products the oil cake has a good percentage of protein content and hence it is used as a cattle feed that is a feed for the cows and buffaloes now starting with a non drying oil that is a castor oil botanical name ricinus communis vernacular name arant family euphobiaceae now the active principle here again is ricinoleic acid on which the name of the plant is kept ricinus formed by hydrolysis of seed under the influence of lipolytic enzyme it is a shrub or a tree usually cultivated in andhra pradesh maharashtra and odisha the oil is thick colorless or greenish in color and is obtained by expression or solvent extraction castor oil has large number of importance economic importance first it's used as a purgative it is water resistance and is used for covering or coating of the fabrics for protective and covering for airplanes insulation food containers and also in the guns it's an excellent lubricant especially for aeroplane engines used for transparent soap textile typewriter ink perfumes aromatics varnishes and paints used for preserving leather and an and an and illuminant that is for creating uh, a light illuminance is light so it's also used as an illuminant the oil cake is used as a fertilizer oil in crude form is put to technical use which is converted into sulfonated castor oil used for dyeing cotton fabrics with alizarin hydrogenated castor oil is useful in polishes candles insulating material and for preservation of fruits and vegetables now this was oil all about the oils drying oil semi drying oils and the non drying oils along in your syllabus along with the oils there is a small portion of the fats so let me tell you what's our fats fat is a food stuff for many forms of life and serves both structural and metabolical functions they are necessary part of the diet of the heterotrophs and are the most energy dense thus the most efficient form of energy storage or in short we can say fats are those stuffs which store energy now what are the characteristics of fats fats are solid at room temperature and contain stearic acid or palmitic acid when a fat is boiled with alkali it decomposes and the fatty acids unites with alkali to form a soap fat molecules consists of primarily carbon and hydrogen atoms and are therefore hydrophobic that is they are not water tolerant hydrophobic means those who run away from water and are soluble in organic solvents and insoluble in water example cholesterol phospholipid and triglycerides some of the vegetable fats coconut oil botanical name cocos nociceptor vernacular name nariyal family palmaceae or you can say ericaceae the part which is used the oil is obtained from the dry meat of the coconut that is the white portion that we eat coconut is come is a fruit you all know it is having mesocarp endocarp but the main portion the oil which we extract is from the white portion that we eat and we call it as gari so this oil is obtained from the dry meat of the coconut as you can see in the picture 
the active principle is oil is pale yellow or colorless and is solid below 74 degrees. Now what are the economic importance of this vegetable fat? Refined coconut oil is edible and extensively used for food products. Oil is used for making confectionery and candy bars. Oil has long been used for the best of the soaps, cosmetics and shampoo. It is also used as an illuminant. The oil cake is used for fodder and as manure. Now coming to the next, it's the botanical name palm oil, Elias guinensis, vernacular name oil palm, family palmacy. The oil is obtained from the nut. Active principle, the oil has concentration of saturated fat and palmitic acid. The oil is yellow, orange or brownish in color. Economic importance, the oil is used in making soap, margarine and as a fuel for diesel motor. Oil is edible and rich source of vitamin A. Next is the mahua oil. You must have seen mahua tree with small fruits in it. The botanical name is Madhuka indica. The vernacular name is mahua. Family sapotaceae. The oil again over here is obtained from the seeds. The fresh oil is yellow in color and the commercial oils are greenish yellow with an offensive odor and a very disagreeable taste. In cold weather, the oil solidifies. Economic importance, the oil is edible and is used for cooking purposes. Refined oil is used in the manufacture of lubricating greases and fatty oil alcohols. Oil used in the jute industry. Now coming to the essential oils. Now what do you understand by an essential oil? An essential oil is a concentrated hydrophobic liquid containing chemical volatile compounds which can easily evaporate at normal temperature and possess a pleasant fragrance. Essential oils are also known as volatile oils. All aromatic plants contain essential oil. Aromatic means the plants which are having an aroma or you can say they are having a smell. So if you take these plants in your hands, you will get an aroma or a smell from them. Such plants are called as aromatic plants. One of the important ones is the tulsi plant. You all know you have it in our houses. That is also having a typical aromatic smell. Now the essential oil are extracted from plant tissues by various methods. The three main ones are distillation, expression by solvent. Now some of the essential oils, you all know cinnamon oil, citrus oil, eucalyptus, jasmine oil, mint oil, sandalwood oil and the few of these apart we will be discussing very few of them. The list is pretty big but you should have an idea about few of these oils. Starting with the first one is camphor oil or cinnamomum camphora. Usually used for religious purposes, it's known as Kapoor, family Lauraceae, oil is obtained from the leaves. Here we are not using seeds because aromatic plants usually have aroma because of their leaves or because of the inflorescence. So here Kapoor comes from camphor, it's obtained from the leaves, are mainly used in manufacture of celluloid and various nitrocelluloid compounds, used in preparation of medicine and making perfumes. Camphor is extensively employed in the external application as a counter irritant in muscular strain, inflammation and rheumatic conditions. Now we come to the next oil, cinnamon oil, cinnamon xylanicum is the name, usually called as dalchini, which we use for eating purposes, making various types of dishes. Family again over here is lauraceae, oil is obtained from the dried inner bark and from the leaves by stem distillation. Cinnamon oil is known to have anti-diabetic, antiseptic and anti-flatulent properties. These are the properties that Dalcini is having. So nowadays it is usually used while we are making kada in these times. So Dalcini is used as one of the ingredients. Now what is the economic importance? The oil is largely consumed in flavoring the pharmaceutical industries and in perfumeries. It is used in medicines as a carminative and antiseptic. It is also used in flavoring confectionaries, liquors 
and soaps. Now coming to the very famous jasmine oil, as you all recognize this plant, it's a jasmine plant, flowers have a very nice aroma or smell. Jasmine auriculatum, vernacular name jasmine, family oleaceae. Oil over here is obtained from the flowers, unlike from other ones where I was telling you that it is obtained from leaves or obtained from barks. Here exclusively it is obtained from the flowers. It's used for preparation of hair oils and itra or atra as it's called. It's again a perfume type. And the basic use of this oil is only for perfumes. Now coming to our very household name, mentha, that is pudina. Botanical name, mentha arvensis. Vernacular name, pudina, family labiati. Part which is used, oil obtained from leaves. Again over here, we are focusing only on the leaves. Mint oil has high menthol content which contains terpenoids and flavonoids such as erisotrin and hesperidin. Coming to its economic importance, the oil is used in preparation of cigarettes and pharmaceuticals, medicinally used as carminative refrigerant and as a stimulant. Now coming to our rare oil which is very costly and not used on a large purpose that is your chandan. Botanical name Santalum album, white sandalwood. Families Santalesi, part which is used, the oil is obtained from the roots. Oil contains more than 90% Swiss quitrapenic alcohols. Now, the economic importance the oil has a major demand in the perfume trade. It has a very nice smell, it's usually called the Chandan Ka Kuchbo. It's also used medicinally. Oil forms the base of Atra produced in India. Oil are diuretic refrigerant finding several application in the household remedies. Now before I conclude, uh, I just would like to mention that when we are dealing with economic botany, students you should follow four things. The first is botanical name of the plant, then the common name or the vernacular name, third comes the part from which it is used. Whichsoever description you are giving, you have to give the part from which it is used. Then the active principle, like if it is linoleum, the linoleic acid. What is the basic acid or the basic content because of which that part is being used? And finally, the economic importance. So, this was all about the fats and oils that you are supposed to know.